Greetings, mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's an Indie, a first impression of strategy, tactics, and survival. Today's impression is Sons of Salazar, which is a Chinese-made game which I'm currently describing as Mountain Blade Combat and Squads meets Dynasty Warriors, which is a hell of a combination. Now, I've got one game currently ongoing, there's multiple different uh, characters you can build, and the latest character they added is the Sultan, who gets to build a city. So I'll be showing you his armies. Now, multiplayer doesn't exist yet, as you saw. So, obviously I want to talk over this. English um, has just been added, or about to be added in the next patch on the 22nd. This is either a release on that day or on the 21st, depending on what the release schedule looks like. And yeah, the one thing I will say is you don't get as much control over your squads as Mountain Blade. You only have infantry, they have returned. ranged, and cavalry. There was a war twenty years ago, and all they do is fight. That's it. You can't. That war took my father, my mother. Oh, wow. My homeland. Everything. Well, I actually watched this. I skipped the first time. The black sun rose in the sky, heralding destruction. You've protected mankind for a thousand years. I have. Who am I to judge? Apparently you want to. But it all started with you. Now, I will be the one to finish it. You're not judging, but you're taking their job. That's judgment. That's major judgment. So yeah, you get multiple different characters. You can see each one has different abilities and skills. And obviously, this one's recommended for new players. So we follow us. I have a follower named Zainab. So there are characters in the game. There are infantry in the game. Obviously, characters are captains. They can also lead armies or control cities, and they can have their own forces. Obviously, when you see they have like their own force. They still don't have any followers, it is quite good. So you don't have any followers, relationship with all tribes is poor, and a tribe may arrest you or declare war at will. So yeah, this one's a shaman. As you can see, it's for the thousand wild wolves. This sentinel has set some crossbowmen. This berserker is a bear. So this one actually gives me a name character. So the character I've got is currently the Sultan who literally has a specialty of beginning with a small town. I'm assuming everyone else you have to build your own. Now they all have plot quests as you can see. Certain ones have quests as you can see up here. Spirit Mountain has a quest. This has a quest. The quests of course are big story quests in the game. Now not everything is in so let's just pick the Spirit Mansa. Now you can pick your starting skill, so every time you play the game and do well, you get legacy points. Legacy points can be used to buy skills, squads, items, or settings. So you can use this to gain maximum of five times. It unlocks an extra troop slot for more troops. This unlocks an extra character. Now depending on how many times you play, the better you do. And really class points. Now obviously I'd like to get more squads. But I can't, so let's pick up hmm, Crescent Blade and that, and then I'm going to, I don't know, pick up some some money, actually no, there we go. So you get to pick what your character looks like, as you can see, there's only so many, and they are isometric top down view, so this is obviously used for your talking. Uh, this is obviously used for your actual character you're seeing. Let's go straight up that. Obviously you can change the face. There is a fair bit of customization in the game. Oh, let's go for the dashing eyebrow. And give you this character. Yep, there's me. Enter a name. Let's give you the name. You are now... Lito. So you can see you can have real uh, mode on, which prevents you from creating dragons, angels and phoenixes. There are fantasy creatures in the game. 
But the game is in three separate versions of there is the overworld map where you go from town to town, there's the battlefield map where you use regiments, and then there's the dungeon map where you're just using characters. So yeah, you start off here, so Zaynep is getting dizzy, uh, I'm fine Zaynep. So this is a different thing. The Sultan is trying to stop his brothers taking his town. In this one we're looking for my wife apparently. So there will be a new story depending on the characters and depending on it's allowed. So as you can see, this is your character. The more people you have, the more follow you. So that's the traveller who tells you how to play the game. He also tells me very clearly to get out my character. So you can upgrade your skills. Learn that. Uh, do any more? That was it. Dexterity, Berserk and other. And obviously I have some skills too. So I'd like to have Legacy. I want to unlock this. No? Then why show me? I have plus one here. Prize level three. Oh, I'm too weak. It's showing me what I can't have. Tease. Actual tease. And as you can see, it shows you here, top level is your characters, bottom is your characters. So I can unlock 34. As you can see, the Sultan gets extra six, boss gets plus ten, and so on. So you can build a massive, massive army. Now, next time you get my equipment out, shabby clothes, a spear, you have a sword, and let's do the first quest. So you get out, you fight these guys, who's being attacked by demon creatures, you find out. Skip all this. And this gives you an idea of the combat. So space balls will roll and it's done in this mode. Now I will be obviously moving out because it's a bit slow. But there is magic in the game. There are soldiers in the game. There is fantasy creatures in the game. Skip, skip, skip. It's fine. Don't care. Goodbye. There we go. So then you go talk to this guy and you go into the real world. So the actual world is split up into multiple different places. I can choose destination. With the Sultan, you don't. Or at least I never did. So the Sultan starts off his own little town and city, which we'll be having a look at, of course. So, yeah, this is the game. If I go map, you can see there's places around. If you scroll out further, you see the world. As you can see, there's a lot of different factions out there. You can see who's defending them. Now, of course, I only have one person with me and a bit of resources. So I'm a little bit the doomed. I have no squads, I have no regiments. Where does this go? Crying Rock. That's crying, crying Rock's the middle, so I'm here. That explains why I was doing so difficult. And if you actually look on the map, you can see there is a recruiter here. It has to adventurer. What do you want? You try to find a trip, but I find a little lever train. Train was selling war animals. Okay. So every once a week, the characters get new things. If you buy, say, a wolf, you might get more wolves. Um, every single merchant is usually selling something or giving away basic infantry. So you can pick up troops pretty quickly. Of course, I only have six of this, but there you are. And this is the movement about. Let's have a look. So, let's see, this is a dungeon. As you see, this is ex exploration mode. Exploration mode is only your characters get to fight. Regiment mode is every one of your soldiers fight. Now, actual squads, if we look at the party, come between numbers between one and eight men. You know, as a slot, you can unlock, you have a, like up to 300 soldiers following you. But as I said, you can't really give them too many orders. You can say, attack, follow or defend and that's it and that's for all squads so that'd be all archers all infantry or all cavalry so can't really do anything about that so you can't really do too much now just obviously just showing this show how it works here is the desert brotherhood basic things this will be an enemy squadron and then we're going to do a pretty big fight. So I'm going to go back to my other regiment, which has a lot of men, and also a city. As you can see, I'm a little bit outnumbered. So when you lose soldiers, they die. Unlike other games where they slowly heal over time as they're wounded, 
before you can just recruit more soldiers. Because they are actually squads, you need to make medicine or find medicine to get troops back on their feet. So you can lose a lot of men really quickly and not be able to replace them. Now, of course, combat's pretty basic. It's all about the big massive battles, which we'll be showing Ooh. about now. So we're going to switch to the main one. And this is the main one. As you can see, I have a few more people following me, including wolves, got a bison. Let's have a look at the party. Oh, I've gone back a bit. So there's 16 of 18 squads. As you can see, there's eight mercenaries, crossbowmen, Dakar youngsters. You find them across the area, across different places. Now, if you actually click on any regiment, you can promote them. This shows where they come from. As you can see, farmers can become mercenaries. Up to this level. Peasants can become warriors. Like Kamari, Kalida, as you can see. Uh, so, yeah. Farmers are men, peasants are women, as you can see. Then we have like savage boars, which can become savage giants. Apprentice witches, huntresses. So you find different squads at different places. And obviously each and every single one has its own promotion path and type. Like villagers, youngsters, as you can see. So there is a lot of variety. And the more you have, obviously, the more they grow and the more powerful they become. So actually go to here, as you can see, this here is a bazaar. We can go here, we can talk to the elder, who allows us to recruit people. Who has more farmers, 150 coin, which is pretty cheap. Let's recruit them. And obviously they also have characters. Now, to get a character to like you or recruit you, you have to give them a gift. So he just shows what he likes. And if you have the items they like, you could give it to them and they could try and join you. And that's how it works. So here's a dungeon. Here's a random logging camp. This dungeon, I think, is yeah exploration mode. I only have one character, so I cannot do it. Now, if I want to, I could attack this. But I don't think I have the people. Because I am, of course, the Sultan, I started off with a town. So I'll go over here and show it to you. Over here is a town. There's also a tournament. And this is my town. Now, base building is pretty basic. Name is Valley, yeah, sure it is. Base building is pretty basic, so it costs food to recruit more people. As you can see, I have a max population, a current population. So I go to here, I talk to my advisor, who is my butler, and I want more people. So it's 20 per person, so it's going to go straight up, grab me more, five more. Now, if I want to build anything, I go buildings, and as you can see. I can build things on any of these slots. Now this is basic stuff, as you can see. And also, there's a lot more buildings I need to unlock. I've not got all the buildings unlocked. But certain slots have certain things, like here's a trading post. Here's a small house. This is a mercenary camp quality building. This is a jade. So there are multiple different slots where you can build different things as soon as you unlock them and get the right thing. Like this is a kennels, this is stables. This over here is a Shattered Ruin, so yeah. And also, you can also upgrade anything you like. So I can actually upgrade it if I wanted to. Which allows me to have more people, produces more resources per week. I can upgrade this, which gives me more people, and gives me more facilities. So there's a lot of things you can do with your building, but it is in certain slots. You also set a waypoint for your troops. So this is going to be where I'm going to be as my rally point if I ever lose. And you can also build a garrison. Now, as you can see, there's no one in the garrison, but I can recruit people. Now, I can also bring these into my squad. This is like two farmer squads. This is bloody useless. But it is what it is. Now, let's go get a big battle on. Which means raiding a dungeon I'm not prepared for, purely so you can see what happens, so I can die for your amusement. So, yeah, we're on the map. Oh, there's my tribe caravan. It'll give me more resources and more money. But yeah, it is an isometric, Mountain Blade, Dynasty Warriors style game. Kind of hard to describe. But there are different dungeons and they're all different levels. I think this is 12. Yeah. Exploration mode solo. Oof, no. Looks like the frame rate's a bit more stable. There's missions and things you can do all over the place. I have a lot of missions on the side, as you can see. There's also, obviously, like Merc Mercenary Captains. Let's see, he's offering me mercenary swordsman. Now the more reputation you get, showing by the stars, 
the higher the level of people. So he'd probably be selling me peasants or so on, and now he's selling me the next tier because he's made me happier. There's also enemy forces which move around. You see little red dots. They are one squad of fighters. No one cares about them. Here's another squad. Yeah, the church doesn't like me. I don't like them either. And the fights are pretty hectic. Let's see if we can find a dungeon which is, which is good. What are you? You are party mode. I need to find a soldier. Now, I did actually have someone following me before, but that was on my um, autosave. There's only one of those. Regiment mode. Okay. I've already explored it. So, regiments and uh, um, dungeons slowly rebuild over time. So give it a few days, they'll be back. This here sells me wolves. Okay, so we're gonna enter this. This oh you had his oh that says solo. This has changed. This wasn't solo, this was regiment. That's not good. They changed how dungeons work. Uh oh. Regiment. Okay, so this will show you how it works. So how it works in dungeons is, you get so many floors. The more floors there are, the greater chance of fighting. Some floors will give you items, some floors will give you more money, some floors will give you bonuses and debuffs. Obviously, single floor dungeons like this will be just a fight. And here's a regiment. As you can see, battles get pretty insane. Oh, God. Now, you can't really directly control any, as I've said. Like, you can see the battle tactics. Um, I can change my thing, but all you've got as options are attack, defend, or follow. And that's it. So you don't have too much direct control of your people. So most battles will be fully Dynasty Warriors style. Of course, if you want to have your... Oh, there's some big troops out there. I may have to start a big fight just to prove a big fight. But yeah, battles are big, fun. One squadron. And usually, obviously, pretty over the top. Hundreds of soldiers clashing and fighting and dying. Although it is a nightmare to get them back. Okay, they like me. Let's not murder them. What about you? What level are you? Regiment. Yes. Single floor. Fight. There's only 16 men. Of course, there are some very elite people out there. There are bosses, there are fighters, there are, of course, named characters. There are plenty of stuff. Although, in this case, they're not so tough. I do love my battle, um, bison. And, of course, all the resources come into your possession, and you can use them once you built, grab more people, work some stuff, and here we go, someone to promote. Now, they're going to be alchemy apprentices, annoyingly, but there we are. Okay. So you can observe them to see what they've got. But yeah, we don't really want to start. Actually, I don't really care. I mean, let's just demonstrate the game. Let's start a fight. One floor. But yeah, and all judges obviously respawn. Of course, as the Sultan character. I need to make sure, oh wow, I need to make sure I actually have the resources to build up my town and keep my people alive. The other characters, of course, don't have that issue yet because they don't start with a town. So because they don't start with a town, it's just them. Me, of course, I have a few more people following me. Oh, and also as this, I apparently have machine guns, which I'm not going to say no to. Apparently, anima machine are just machine guns, is what we have. That marker there means there's a quest. That can queen. Oh! No rules. Oh, this is a tournament! I don't know how to write what you expect us to do. Fear Sky A. Eh? This warrior isn't wrong here. Maybe she'll join me! I am the law. Shaking. Who's he? Oh, he's the merchant. Okay. 
Uh, I am ready. The chicken grubs gave a total of 60 animals with 44 legs. How many chickens are there and how many rabbits are there? Oh no! 60 animals with 44 legs! What are my options? Okay, 6 rabbits should be 24. Yeah, 6, 12, 18, 24, that'd be 44. 8, 16, 24, 32. 48. That's this one. Four colours of silk in a box, everyone can take one to two rolls. So if first takes two rolls, then the rolls must be different colours. Four colours of silk in a box, everyone takes one to two rolls. Oh no! What? There are four colours of silk in a box, everyone can take one to two rolls. A person takes two rolls and the rolls must be different colours. What is the lowest number of people who must take silk rolls from that three people have the exact same number of rolls and in the same colours? What? What is the lowest number of people? Exact same number of rolls and in the same colours. Well, if four people take a roll, that's four rolls. Would it be eight? Is it ten? A statue was planned to, plan to be built by 40 people. So to do this, you have to be smart. 40 people can complete in 15 days, but to complete three days earlier, how many more people would be needed? 40 people in 15 days. That is four people per day. So, wait. So that's eight, ten, or twelve? Wait, no, it's not, is it? Fifteen, thirty. If it was three people, it's eight people. Wait a minute, what opponents will decide based on your results? We need to keep three opponents to move to the top. That's 30 days. Huh. Huh. I, I think I think they're really smart. Or not smart. Oh! Big machine gun! I don't like it. I should be higher level. But you can dodge. Got one. That cavalry is a nightmare. Come on. Be a melee combat for your own character is a bit of meh. You can dodge, or oh, I'm gonna die. Anybody healing character? Oh, what? Also, there's a little bit of latency issue with the fighting. And of course, okay, you've been eliminated, so sorry. These are rules, leave now. Oh, what? And also, you can put, obviously, healing items on your inventory, which was a bit of a nightmare. Should probably have done that, or stuck with the strongbow. Mana orb. Oh, she used the healing orb. And that's that. We lost battle. Didn't even know where that was, and now I do. Who's here, and what do you do? So, let's see if I can actually get you to join me. Magic tail. Oh. No. So yeah, you want to find people you have items for. God damn it, do I have nothing useful? Okay, never mind. And obviously there is battles going on, so I can besiege the place. Yes. So, let's see. Let's start it. We're not going to win, I think. So you are preparing a siege. And here comes the enemy. The Dakin Queen. That's just... Oh, there's so many men. And obviously we're going to lose against the Dakin Queen, but I thought I'd show you the combat. And this is the game. I'm actually very excited to see how this is done. This should be early access, last I checked. Oh, dear. 
Let's get a big battle on. As I said, you don't really have control. It's attack, defend. Attack, defend, and retreat. You're calling in siege mode. Press M at any time to open the strategy map and slow down time. Okay, this is new. Oh, look at this. This is different. Attack. There you go, attack. Oh, this is a big battle. Am I dead? I'm dead. See, the fights get pretty big, and I think we're going to lose because the enemy is significantly tougher with higher rank troops. I thought I'd show you a big battle. Oh, it's everywhere. That's why you need skills and abilities. I don't have an elite Dakin assassin. I have basic Dakin peasants. M. Okay. Are they dead? I don't have their battlefield forces. Oh, my regiment's all dead! Oh no! I've lost everything! So yeah, siege combat is a bit more tougher. And obviously, um... The multiplayer is not yet in as of this recording. Oh my god, die! <laughs> I think I've lost. But yeah, there's obviously... Ra the actual battle you saw me attacking with... Like a hundred men, them having sixteen. That's how land battles work. And obviously, there's siege battles. Where, as you can see, we have to take camps from. Them. And we need to take these camps to get production. The more production we have, the more we can bring our people back. As you can see, we have no resources to resurrect my men. We have been defeated. And now we're at war. So, yeah. So yeah, now I have a like, party as you can see, I've got entire regiments where I need to resurrect them. Now to restore them, I will need some kind of healing potion. I can make them from flowers and go to certain places, or I can of course buy them. But it does however mean I have very, very little troops. So death will now find me. My doom will now soon be upon me. Because I'm at war, my entire main force is dead, and death is coming. But yeah, this has been our first look at Sir Santa of Salzar. I'm debating whether making it a series. I personally like it. I'd like to build up, destroy, and see how well we do. But either way, I have been the Fallen Shogun. Charles for now. Be awesome. Be epic. I will be seeing you next time. And of course, please, stay safe out there. Can't believe you got wiped out. I can actually dead easy. Oh, regiments have been upgraded.